It's December 2nd, 2024, and so we're looking at 1 Samuel chapter 2 this morning, verses 34 and 35. So if you would grab your Bible and get a cup of coffee, and uh, let's take a second and work through this. It says, And this shall come upon your two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, and they shall be the signs to you. The Lord will raise up for himself a faithful priest who shall do according to what is in my heart and in my mind. And I will build him up a sure house and he shall go in and out before my anointed forever. All right. In these verses, God addresses Eli's sons directly, providing a prophetic sign of their impending judgment. Hophni and Phinehas represent the unfaithfulness that has become a strain on the priesthood, and their ultimate downfall serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of sin. Yet amid this, all right, amid this grave warning, there is a promise of hope that God will raise up a faithful priest who will serve him according to his heart and mind. And, and this is not only a foreshadowing of the transition from Eli's house to a new priestly lineage, but it also underscores God's unwavering commitment to his covenant people. You see, the description of the faithful priest reveals God's desires for true worship and integrity, especially in leadership. And the priest will embody the qualities that Eli's sons have failed to demonstrate, faithfulness, obedience, an alignment with God's will. And God's promise to build him a sure house indicates a lasting legacy based on righteousness and faithfulness. So this priest, who ultimately points to Jesus Christ, embodies the hope of restoration for God's people. And he will be a figure who fulfills the role that Eli's lineage has squandered, serving as a reminder that God is always working to restore and redeem. But moreover, this passage also invites us to reflect on our own roles within the body of Christ. I mean, just as God raises up leaders who are faithful to his calling, he also calls each of us to be diligent in our walk with him. And in our everyday lives, we have this responsibility. We have this opportunity, you know? We have the opportunity to represent Christ to those around us, demonstrating faithfulness and integrity in our actions. And so the challenge lies to ensure that we align our hearts with God, seeking to fulfill his purposes rather than our own desires. So today, take a few minutes and consider how you can embody the qualities you know, of faithfulness and obedience in your life? Are there areas where you need to realign your heart with God's will? Spend time in prayer, asking for guidance, asking for wisdom to become the faithful servant of God that he desires you to be. And additionally, think about how you can encourage and support others in their faith journeys, fostering a community that prioritizes integrity and service to God. And remember that your life, your life can reflect God's faithfulness, leading others to him through your example. Have a very blessed day. I'll see you right back here tomorrow. You take care now.